Hello everyone, this is the car holder that I'll be making today. It's gonna be all black with black stitching. And I'm gonna start cutting the pieces. Here I'm setting up all the pieces that I'm gonna need. I got my pattern and I'll be tracing them. It's gonna be a four car holder pocket with a hidden pocket in the middle on both sides. These are all my pieces already all cut out. I just need to cut the body. And here it is. And I'm also going to be fixing the fussy side. Just going to smooth it out. It's a quick project, so there's no rush for it. Uh, they ordered this about uh, three or four days ago, but they don't need it right away. But I'm taking my time so that it comes out nice and clean. I'm going to dye the parts already here, that's the body. I need to fix the fussy side, but that'll be quick. I already started here with the hidden pocket and the the two car holders uh, slots that is going to have on each side. It's a medium thin wallet. It's not going to, uh, car holder or wallet, <laughs> whatever you guys want to call it, but it's it's got uh, two hidden pockets where you could put money and the car holders, which could hold four or two cards on each slot. It's big enough. Here, I just finished stitching the hidden pocket, which is on the inner part of both ends. I already traced and punched the hole so that I could start gluing them to the body. Like I said, it's a quick project for me, but I got other things to do, so I'm not putting too much effort into this right now. And here's the other pocket. I already stitched the top, uh, the middle part of the slot. And then I'm going to glue them so that I could start punch uh, holding the whole body with them. Yeah, I already got this side glued in. And you can see in the middle, the fussy side, it's already uh, burnished. So there's no fussy stuff in the middle and i'm gonna have to sand and clean the edges so that they come out nice and clean but this is what it's looking like so far and that's a stamp mac and sons handcrafted hand stitch hand dyed everything's made by hand see here's the what i wanted to show you after i burnish the fussy side what it looks like before and after I'm gonna do the whole thing, but I wanted to show you before I put the other um, car holder slots on the side. But it's really smooth and that one's really fussy. And that's what it looks like. Nice and clean. Once it's all burnished, then I'm gonna glue it together and finish stitching the ends. And here I'm using Tokonol to start burnishing and keep sanding until the edges are smooth. Nice and burnished. I still need to work on it, but I'm just showing you the process of what I do so that I could see the cracks and everything before I completely finish burnishing. See, that one's nice and flat already. I, I still got to sand some of the corners and the edges, but that's what it looks like before I burnish. Nice and smooth and flat. And once it's done, I still got to fold it in half and uh, it'll be easy because I already put some beeswax on it so that it starts folding in, in half and it's nice and smooth and soft. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it if you give me a like or a comment, anything, even negative comments are uh, constructive for me so that I could, you know, make it better or do some changes. But thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day and happy new year. To everyone, thank you so much.